Just because you live in a warm climate doesn't mean you should miss out on all the fun fall fashion. You can still have seasonal fun with your wardrobe using color and accessories. This came to me while I was visiting family in Southern California recently during a heat wave. So here's just a few ideas I had about dressing for fall, but in a warm climate. I always love a pair of loose fitting pants. They're great for summer, they're great for fall because they kind of keep you cool. And they're really nice if you happen to be kind of a thick gal like myself, a little more extra weight around the hips and legs because they're so comfortable and they're light and airy and they're perfect for the warm weather. You can get a pair of pants like this in a beautiful fall color, like here I have found some in this rust kind of pumpkin color. I just love this color. I paired it with a just an off-white tank because I had it with me and some fall accessories. Some kind of, you know, a beautiful necklace, some earrings, even a manicure, whatever it is, lip color, just bringing in some of those colors that you associate with fall. Sunglasses, of course, especially in a warm climate, you can do a lot with sunglasses. I love brown sunglasses anyway, but especially a tortoise shell for the fall because it has texture. And I think that the fall is a great time to really incorporate texture. Texture is great at any time, but it's really suited for fall. I do want to break in here though and just kind of tell you about an experience I had. The necklace that I was wearing in that last shot was, is this one. And I loved it. I just got it and I, I don't really have anything like it. it was, so it was kind of modern and fresh for me. And I loved it, but you know what? The color came off of this stone and dyed my skin. So I'm gonna take this back. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't pay much for it. I think it was, I don't know, 40 or $50, but I don't know, just something to watch out for. A comfortable, loose dress in some kind of autumn tone or with autumn accessories. This dress I did purchase on the trip and I just love it. It's navy with like this burgundy print on it. And I don't follow trends real closely, but I do kind of like to see what is trending. And for fall 2024, reds and burgundies are trending. So this was kind of fun. And you can put on a brown belt with this if it's not too hot. If it's real hot, I personally don't like to wear belts, but if it's not too hot, you could put on a belt and some beautiful shoes. So I have to break in here about the shoes. As I mentioned, we're on a trip and this trip was, it was a visiting trip for sure, but it was also a working trip. We were gonna be helping move, doing cleaning, watching the grandkids. So I didn't pack beautiful shoes. So I'm wearing my Birkenstocks and you're gonna have to imagine this outfit with shoes like this. Or shoes like these. You know, just some beautiful brown sandals or even an olive colored sandal or even navy. Some other kind of a neutral tone sandal would look beautiful with this dress. And then again, of course, a fun lip color, maybe a nail color and some pretty accessories. As I mentioned, this dress is navy background with some burgundy print and it's got some white in it. I want to share with you something I'm obsessed with. I haven't seen this as trending or anything, but I'm obsessed with navy and like an olive green or navy and any green really, but navy and olive. I just love this combination. And I think it's really nice if maybe you're someone who doesn't love the traditional autumn and fall colors, but these I think are just as beautiful and you can pair them with a little bit of brown, a little bit of rust, a little bit of some red tones or burgundy tones. And I think it looks really beautiful. I don't know what it is, but I'm just obsessed with this lately. As I mentioned the navy on the background, 
of the dress with the burgundy I think was really pretty and I think that the navy with like olive green or a khaki green is really beautiful too. And I also like it because it can transition into the winter as well. Maybe you wear some different accessories, some different colors with it, and you can get two seasons out of it. Okay, for this next outfit, I did have to stretch a bit. I had this burgundy skirt and I wanted to bring it out. I'm very much into using things from your closet getting some good clothes that you love and mixing and matching them so that your wardrobe is varied, but you're not constantly having to buy new things. Yes, I do think buying a few new fresh things is a good idea, especially if you're having a life change or maybe you haven't had a life change in some number of years and you just need to freshen things up a bit, but using things from your closet I think is a creative way to enhance your wardrobe and it just makes a lot of sense. So I had this burgundy skirt and I did want to bring it out. I think it's loose and comfortable. It, skirts are nice and cool if you live in a warm climate and this burgundy color is kind of hot for fall. What I would have loved was like a coffee brown top with it and then I would have worn a brown belt but I am having such a hard time finding brown in the stores. I don't know what's going on. Brown comes in so many beautiful colors. I'm really exploring it um, as, as an alternative to black because I was very much into a kind of using black as a uniform and I'm trying to break out with that. I, brown looks good with my skin tone, but I can't find it. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you are having trouble with this, but it forced me out of my shell a little bit, out of my box. And so instead I paired it just with an off-white top and a brown belt. You could put a scarf with this. I think that lightweight scarves are very beautiful for fall if they're in, you know, the right colors that you're looking for. If it's not too hot, if it's real hot, I personally am not going to put a scarf around my neck. I'm just not. But if it's somewhere in the middle, scarves are another beautiful accessory that could be used for fall. I also want to let you know that although I'm having fun, you know, trying to be a model, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not one. It's fun. I would love to bring in pictures of other women, but I will tell you it is tough to find photos in you know the subscription photos that you can get that are non-copyright photos, I do have a subscription. It's tough to find warm fall and also pictures of older women. There are a few, there are a few I've been able to find. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably seen them, but they're few and far between. So sorry for all just the pictures of me, but you know, that's what I've got to work with. If you live in a warm climate, or maybe you travel to a warm climate for the fall and winter because you don't want to be in the cold climate where you live, let me know. Do you switch up your wardrobe for fall? Is this something that you do? And do you have favorite ways to kind of bring that seasonality into your wardrobe? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a beautiful day.